if today is your first time of watching any of my video kindly click the red subscribe button so that you can get latest information latest news thank you very much mr president the summary of all these are discussions puts to a pointer that majority of nigerians are not happy our nation is characterized with unhappiness, be it in the political forum, business, legislative, executive, and what have you, families. Why would one want to take his life and commit suicide? Simply because he or she is tired of this life. And I raise my hand to ask the question, but not knowing the procedures in this uh, red chamber, I'm careful that I remain a student for a while. But when the issue of rape was raised by Senator Oko, and the state was mentioned, Kano, I had expected that senators from Kano would have said something on that matter to make me believe that a six months old baby could be right. Because still now, I am still imagining that it's not true. But coming to the issue of suicide, many people are committing suicide and some still intending to commit suicide because they lack the ability to express themselves or to share their feelings with anybody. I think we have to revisit the actions we take in this hallowed chamber. Because most of the time, when people are hurt, they would think that going to the police might be a solution. Senator TLG has mentioned Minister of Health and the Orientation, Minister of Information, as a solution. Most people are seeking to where would they go to find happiness. And if you recall, the entire constitution of America is centered on guaranteeing the happiness of the people. And when a government has failed to guarantee the happiness of people, that government is living short of the expectation. I want to state in this hallowed chamber, Mr. Senate President, that let it be known to all of us that most Nigerians are not happy. And day by day, we are hearing the cases of people taking their life on time. Our Senate should not be just a discussing Senate, but also provide some level of solution. In all that we have said here, in all our prayers, appears to me as if they were backing on academic exercise that might not reflect any practical realities. A step further should be taken to go down and find out what is the causative, what is really the cause, why these people are not happy to the extent that they will take their life and commit suicide. And when you commit suicide, nobody knows the reason why you have committed suicide. So, Mr. Senior President, I think a department should be created to look into this issue. When I did create the Ministry of Happiness in Imo State, it was perhaps the most misunderstood but the most effective ministry in Imo State to address issues of this nature to address the challenges we have. Because if our policies does not guarantee the happiness of people, then it is a fair policy. And when the people's opinion supersedes that of legislative or executive, a white government must submit to it. That what makes for popular government. May I therefore advise, or allow me in the next time to present a proper motion on the urgent need to establish Department of Happiness. <laughs> and 
no, start with the Department of Happiness. Because in the UK, similar thing had happened. When people were committing suicide because of loneliness, Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister Theresa May established a ministry for loneliness to address this issue. But to our mind, we think once we deal with Ministry of Works, Ministry of Aviation, Ministry of Health, we have dealt with the matter of Nigeria. There are some sensitive areas that we must address and provide the Department of Ministry to address this issue. So I will advise the urge, Senator to expand this your motion to inculcate a more solution providing Department and Ministry to address this issue. When a husband is quarreling with a wife and the house is in pieces, most of the men do not know that the reasons for quarrel might just not be money, but the woman has not been allowed to express herself and speak out her body. In this nation, people are bottled with anger, and we must allow them to express their anger. Even in politics here, this is what they sense of it. People could drive you crazy to the extent that you see injustice ravaging everywhere. Example, you know him, and you know them. So, Mr. Mr. Senior President, may I suggest, on a serious note, that whether it be issue of rape, issue of committing suicide, issue of uh, drug, let us create a department to address this issue. Ministry of Health is not lying to that. Police is not equipped for that. Um, Ministry of Information is not equipped for that. That we must get a department where people can go and express themselves and talk to the people. It's counseling, it's guidance, it's orientation, it's everything put together. And that ministry or departments must be a department of happiness. I shall submit.